Happy Christmas Eve, and welcome back to the joy of Minecrafting. We're just going to run over to this town here. You might not recognize where we are. We're in a whole different world. I still haven't figured out, still haven't figured out what I'm going to do. To finish decorating my castle I was building, so this video is showing off a different world that I've been in. We haven't seen this one online yet. Here's the village. There's been a game update, I guess. The, the game keeps telling me I've got new recipes unlocked. Haven't played this world in a long time. We've got a village with a little waterfall irrigation, which is... I think it was normal and then a creeper blew up, probably. That's probably what happened there. It's getting to be dark, speaking of creepers. We better go to bed. Steal one of the villagers' beds for a minute. There's, there's some fires have happened, so there's some pieces of building missing here and there. But this is a world where I've got an entirely different sort of home base built up. Here's another building that caught fire. Sometimes you get a villager that doesn't have the trades you want. And one way you can get rid of them is with a lava bucket. But if you're not careful, that lava bucket can spread faster than you want it to and catch buildings on fire. So we've got a small library there for space for a few librarians, but then we've got over on the other side of town. You might notice all that pink over there in the distance. Over here on the other side of town, we've got another library where a whole lot of librarians can congregate. Many, many lecterns. That's how you get all of the enchantments you want to get. And I do have some enchanted stuff in this world that I don't have in my other world. I made a bus stop out of nether rack. But I've got an enchanted trident. Lots of enchantments on it. Loyalty impaling. Mending channeling. So we can throw that at people and it comes back to us because it's got loyalty. It'll bounce off of stuff and come right back to you. It makes a little musical noise when it does it. And I've got a crossbow with unbreaking, quick charge, piercing, mending. Crossbow, just not very good. It's just not as good as a bow. The piercing comes in handy if you got a crowd. You manage to shoot through them and get them all, but it's still not as good as a bow. But wanted to try those out just to be different. And I've got fully, fully filled in fully filled in large map. This world is mostly land and has sort of like little rivers going around between it. I have explored that ocean in the south on the map, but we don't need to go there today. Today we're just going to see the stuff I've built, my normal day-to-day -day area of the world. So we take the train away from the village. The mine cart, that is. And look at all this pink in the distance. We've got cherry trees. We've got a building made out of cherry trees. This was uh, the first game that I played right after the update that added cherry trees. So I thought, let's take advantage of that. And I spawned right in the middle of a cherry tree forest. Way up, way like northwest of here. And it's hard to get here from here. Because the river doesn't go that way. The river takes the long way around up north. But here's my pagoda inspired house. We've got the rows of flowers leading up to it. They do kind of go off at an angle from
from the entrance. And just a whole lot of cherry wood, cherry planks, and some dark oak accent pieces. We've got a cherry blossom flag here on the doors. Lanterns for light. And these guys. Bamboo. I always forget what these are called, but they're like planks and they can go up and down. The bamboo bits just for decoration on the sides. I guess this this wood must be... What is that? That's uh, mangrove. We got mangrove on there too. I forgot about that. It's been a long time since I've played in this world. Just kind of let it... Just let it sit in the hibernation for a while. But if you go in the front door, you've got the throne room. We've got a red carpet up to the throne. We've got a lot of pottery and plants on these little mangrove. Wait, that's not mangrove, that's that's that nether mushroom um, nether mushroom stuff. What do you call these? I can't think of the word for that. That go up and down. Where is my wood? Trapdoors. Trapdoors. I never use them as trapdoors, so I forget that's what they're called. So we've got the uh, nether mushroom. What do you call that? The nether mushroom stuff. The nether what, crimson planks. Crimson planks and warped planks, those you get out of the nether. And the warped planks are the upholstery of my throne. Got a little lamp here. With an obvious switch on the back. Golden Knight armor doll. Got a light here. Is that one of those mushroom shroom lights? I think that's a shroom light. Or a... What is that? It's not a shroom light, but it's a... Oh, it is a shroom light. <laughs> Sitting on top of a note block, just because it's... I like that as the... sort of the base of the light. So we've got all our flowers on. I've got a lot of iron in this world. That's not where it is, but don't have an iron shortage like I did in the other world. Also plenty of gold. Copper. There's never a shortage of copper. This is also right after the update that added these big flower pots. Big flower pots made out of clay or brick. Something like that. One of the two. Clay or brick. Here's the enchanting room. Multicolored carpet and the map. Here's an overview of where we are. Cherry trees going off. You see a little bridge there in the water. We'll get to that in a minute. We've got our map stuff. We've got candles, books. Mostly empty chests. Lots of enchanted books. Three chests for enchanted books. We've got one chest for armor enchantments, one chest for weapon enchantments, and one chest just for general. Go up another level and we've got our bedroom and here's our little kitty. And here's the little kitty's play tower that he never plays with. You know how cats are. He wants to sit in my bed. He doesn't want to get in his bed. But he's got a little play tower over there. And I've got kind of like, I had an idea, black light posters. Got this little blue light, and then you got a glowing item frame. So it's kind of like a black light poster. We got a gold record and swords and roses, huh? Huh? Swords and roses? Kind of like, kind of like guns and roses? Kind of like Guns N' Roses, but it's Swords N' Roses, Gold Record, 
black light posters. What's in these chickens? Weapons and armor in these chests, I guess. Lots of weapons and... Oh, yeah. Records. I don't have... I didn't get very many records in this world. I got three copies of that yellow one. I didn't get any pig stuff, though. And then one more level and we've got our... Another wart farm hidden under the stairs. Yet another color of trapdoor. That's, I guess, acacia. And then at the very top, we got the rampart with the flags facing in every direction, so you know from a distance who we are. This is our base. We're on the top floor now. Jungle in one distance. Other trees we'll get to in a minute in the other distance. But yeah, this world was a huge stretch of land with rivers kind of weaving all around in it. Hard to navigate. Not an easy world to navigate through. You can see our farm down there. Rows and rows of pumpkins. And watermelons. I do have a sugar farm on land, which you don't always do. Sometimes you put it on the coast if you have a lot of coast. Yeah, and underneath, I forgot, underneath, I heard the cows mooing. Underneath, we've got our animal farms in the shade. We've got some bamboo and some pandas. I found pandas in this world. They're big. Uh, we got my sheep over there of many colors, my cows over there, chickens over there. Just a big square. Somehow a panda got over in the cow. Panda got over with the cows, I just saw him tumbling. Pandas are silly, they like to play. It's getting to be dark time. We don't want to be attracting animals in dark time. A lot of times, a lot of times I'll come downstairs and there'll be a creeper in here and I'll have to fix my stuff because I leave the door open. Might not be a good idea leaving the door open, but sometimes you just don't want to stop and deal with it. So you have to be careful. No creepers. Oh yeah, and I have my... I have my... Funnels of things over here. I feel like I hear a spider, definitely. He's in there with the pandas. And yes, I heard at the last very second. Heard at the last very second a creeper hissing. But it was too late. That's why there's all this empty territory underneath here. Because of all the previous times that I've heard a creeper and it was too late. So this has been blown up a lot of times by creepers. Some of some of it is where I filled in because the land wasn't flat enough, but a lot of this is from creeper explosions that I just covered up. Hopefully that lava didn't damage anything good. It doesn't look like it did. And hopefully my pandas haven't gotten loose. Nope. The bamboo is holding them in now. Even though the fence, the fence is broken, but the bamboo will hold them in. We don't need to worry about that for now. So as I was saying, I've got my funnel with a compost heap to get my bone meal. And then I've got lava Right here at home, easier than any of my other bases. Right here at home, I've got lava. Well, I did do this at my other hanging base. My hanging base that's not part of the main world. But you have a pool of lava, then a block, and then a hanging, 
hanging dripstone. And that'll drip new lava into a cauldron. The, the old lava stays there, though. It, it makes new lava somehow. So you get infinite lava to use for smelting. Lava buckets for smelting. And here's my sugar farm, because I needed to get a lot of enchanting books. You use sugar to make paper, and it's at different levels. So I've got kind of terraced... Terraced... Uh, Irrigation. Irrigation, that's the word for that. Terraced irrigation. Then here's some normal farms up here. There's a loose spider. Let's see if we can hit him with a trident. Hey, he went back in the fence. Spiders can climb fences. We're hitting him, but it doesn't do a lot. The, the trident's not a great weapon unless you're using it underwater or in the rain. It's not a very good overworld weapon. The game is really determined to tell me I've got new recipes for some reason. Maybe every time I pick up something new. Anyway. There's the melon forms. Pumpkins, melons. Pumpkins, melons, we got bees, of course. Bees to make honey and to fertilize the crops. Mm, somebody broke one of my somebody broke one of my stems. So that's our home in this world. This world... Just have the one base. One base in this world. If we come out here, there's... There's the minecart that goes to town. Where's this one go? It's acting... It's acting a little bit weird. I'm... Not sure why it's doing that. It was making me move when I didn't do anything to make it move. This is where I did do sugar farming, but we got a little bridge. Under the spruce trees. Used to do sugar farming out here, but it just wasn't enough for how much paper I needed. So we got a bridge of planks going across the water, and there's a... There's our nether portal over here. Don't want it too close to home in case any terrible accidents might happen. Then I also have... See, there's jungle over there. And then I planted a bunch of mangroves here. Spruce is there, cherry trees at home. So we've got every kind of tree nearby. If we ever want a different kind of wood. Now it's raining. Let's go in the nether and see what happens. protection building is still intact. Should already have golden boots on, yes. It's been a long time, I forget the wood all I have here. Why did I... Oh! I've got a flint and... I've got flint and steel in lots of different places in case my portal gets knocked out, I can relight it. So this nether, something weird happened in this nether. I don't know if it's because of the ghast. But a ghast... Oh, hello. Why are you mad? I didn't do anything to you. A ghast shot a fireball at me. Like it might right here in a second. Sir, stop sneaking up on me when I'm not looking. Oh, you're in the... He got in the minecart. I'm, tr 
trying to explain something, Mr. Enderman. So a gas shot a fireball at me. It made a big explosion around... There was an explosion around the nether portal. It didn't disable the nether portal. It just blew up next to it. And then a minute later, I noticed there was another nether portal that hadn't been there before. They both go to the same place. But there's two nether portals. It generated another one. And it seems to me like it did it when a gas explosion went off. But it didn't knock this one out. It just made a copy or something. But I've got a minecart network in this nether. Oh, this one's growing mushrooms on his back? No, that's just his hair. I misunderstood that visually for a second. I did do a lot of digging through the netherrack, just to see what I could find. Because it's safer underground. But we've got our little house here to protect the nether portal. There's something I've explored off in this direction, I don't remember what. I guess I just ran in that direction though, because I don't have any minecart this way. Let's take the minecart see where that goes. I know where it goes, but you don't. Down and around. through the green forest and there's a minecart with a chest and here's my little dock with my little strider he made babies when I wasn't looking how did those babies get in there strider but I've got a strider with a saddle to ride the lava we've done that before in the other world to explore around in the nether these are just chests for temporary storage when I get back with stuff from raiding raiding um, the things that you raid in the nether uh, bastion remnants and fortresses but we don't need to explore any of that that gets too dangerous for what we're doing right now just wanted to show off, this is how we've set up, this is how I've set up this world. I can't really s Does this minecart go too close to lava? Or did something else just set me on fire? Something set me on fire. Some endermen must have gotten up here and put those bits of dirt on top of my house. The, the netherrack with grass on it, whatever you call netherrack with grass on it. Warped Nylium. So that's, I think that's this world shown off really as much as it needs to be. We've got our netherworld underground. This is strange to me, this extra this extra nether portal that appeared right next to the other one that was before there was a wall in between them too they used to be both out in the open that was before I built a building to protect this one just got an extra nether let's just make sure it still goes to the same place kinda seems like it has to there's nothing else in the overworld for it to go to. It's strange though they're facing in different directions. Because I do think you usually maintain your direction when you go between realms. I do think you usually maintain your direction, but you can't really do it if they're not facing the same direction. It's nighttime. Maybe I don't want to go home and take monsters 
Oh, it's raining. We could use our trident since it's raining. It's better in the rain. I think what it is is sometimes you get a lightning strike in the rain. With the trident. It does have mending on it, doesn't it? I guess I'm still using the experience to mend my armor for now. This is nice for a change something. It is getting one-shot kills. Which it doesn't usually do. Maybe it does actually do more damage in the rain, too. Let's see how the crossbow does. It misses. And it don't have... Don't have one-shot kills with the crossbow. Maybe on a zombie? No, not even on a zombie. I can get two lined up. The arrow does go through them. Even two shots wasn't enough. Definitely not as good as a bow. A bow just has more different enchantments you can put on it for one thing. The trident's working good in the rain, though. He missed me. He almost got me with another potion, but he missed me. Oh, it does actually show you what the recipe... I thought it was just showing random little... I thought it was showing random little, um... graphics, but it shows you which recipe you just unlocked, I think, because that time it did both TNT-related recipes. That's a long-lasting poison he hit me with. Please stop. There we go. I almost... I almost, uh speared the pig out of panic. I don't want to do that. But I saw something moving and I was like, no, not another enemy. It'll even kill a creeper in one... I heard that. Too late. You always hear it too late. Because once they're hissing, they're real close to you. But anyway, that's this... That's this world and what I've done with it. I've seen what there is to see. Within decent distance of the house, anyway. I did find... Some ocean temples. Again, though, you have to go real far to get to the ocean in this world. But I did find some ocean temples. I did find a... Woodland mansion. Fill in your holes. Always fill in your holes. Creepers will just ruin your day. Leave holes in your world where you can't safely walk around. until daytime. I thought I just saw something spawn there, but I guess it was just steak crumbs. Since you eat like the cookie monster in this game, 
Just rah, 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 Eating like the cookie monster, making a mess. Oh. You can melee with the trident, too. You don't have to throw it. You can melee, but... Then you have to get close. Yeah, see, it's doing less damage now that he's not in the rain. That's what it is. You gotta be wet for a trident to do full damage. And he was under a tree, so he wasn't counted as being in the rain. Now let's try to get back home. See, the mine card is fast enough to get you away from a creeper before they blow up. Since it's night, let's close the doors. Now, do I have any... I don't know if I have any more... Nether, netherite in this world. I might not. So my nether sword, that might be the only piece. I think that might be the only piece that I got of netherite. Where else would I put it? Got lots of stakes and emeralds. Because I was making books, so I had to kill a lot of cows to get the leather. It was sad, but we're done. We don't need to do any more of that. Yeah, it would be good. What is that egg that I have? I guess I don't have any more netherite. Oh, turtles? Sea turtle eggs. Sea turtle eggs. I don't need those. I'm not sure I ever actually made a turtle shell helmet. Looks like I did not ever make a turtle shell helmet. I just, I guess I just got those because I'm so far away from the ocean. I guess I just got those just in case I ever wanted to do anything with turtles. I like turtles. But I didn't really need them in this game. With no ocean nearby, you don't, don't need a whole lot of respiration. Just the respiration enchantment will do it. And I've got that on my helmet, I'm sure. That's good enough. I've got Aquafinity too, so yeah, I didn't need turtle. Didn't need turtle shell helmet. Turtle shell helmet. It's not quite as good as diamond, but it gives you a little bit of underwater breathing. But you don't need it, really, if you can get decent level of respiration. But if you have a really ocean-heavy world, you might want to do it. Just for that little bit of bonus. A little bit of bonus underwater breathing. But I'd say that's... Pretty much that's this world. Well, obviously it's not the world, it's just... It's the home. It's the home base part of the world. The village, the house, and the entry point of the nether. That's really all you need in the world. Oh, I didn't show my first mine. Let's go back. Let's go back to town just to look at my first mine. There happened to be a open pit right next to town. It's kind of neat. I should have showed that off. Just neat that it's like right there at the village. Here's an open pit. And that's why I built here. Was because I did quite a bit of exploring. And I had seen other villages. Yeah, I just got an egg and it showed me cake in the recipe pop-up. I didn't realize it was showing the actual recipes. I thought it was just random. I'm not sure why it's doing that, though, because cakes already existed 
when I was playing this world. So it doesn't need to keep telling me I can make cakes. I already could have before. But anyway. Maybe it's just been because it's been a long time since I loaded it up. But I found a few villages and found them and loot them and kept moving as I explored looking for a place to start a home base. And then I found this village and I thought, oh, I explored and looted. I came in from that direction over there. But then I got to the end of the village. Obviously, this wasn't here when I got here the first time, but I built... There's some beds because I needed more librarians. Got to the end of the village and there was just a big pit in the middle. Just a big hole. And from up here, I could see... It wasn't uncovered that much, but I could see from up there that there was a geode. And I said, well, this is perfect. Because at that point, I still didn't realize how common geodes actually are. I just had really bad luck when I first started playing the game that I almost never found them. I think part of the problem is I didn't know what they looked like from the outside. I didn't recognize the the basalt outer part. So there's a... See, it's right next to a village. I put this little waterfall in just to get up and down. But it's right next to a, a village, so there's like cats and golems get down in the cave sometimes. Splash. Lots of cats. They probably keep spawning in the village because they... Well, no, cats don't... Why is the... Why are you getting hurt? I don't know why the golem is getting injured. Why there's wooden sticks? He must have just fought an enemy that could poison him? I don't know what that would be. An enemy that could poison the golem. But I have filled up my inventory. Just running around and goofing off, I filled up the inventory, but here's my geode. My first geode I found in this world. They're actually, they've been pretty common in my experience more recently. I think I just didn't know what to look for. These outer blocks are usually exposed somewhere in a cave you'll find pretty early on. But that's probably enough for now. Probably enough goofing off. I am just goofing off at this point, really. Why is he... F why is the... Why is the golem fighting villagers? Did the villager... Did the villager fall down here? Dan... Get in the dark. And turn into a zombie? I'm not, I don't actually know how villagers get turned into zombies. Is it just from getting... If they get attacked by a zombie, they just die, so I don't know what turns them into zombies. Can't be the dark. That can't be it. Yeah, this cave is like one of the ones where I found another geode real quick. And I thought, well, I guess geodes aren't that uncommon. If I found two in the same cave. I don't really remember where the other one is, though. And you know what a geode looks like. I don't have to, like, show it off. I just wanted to prove the point. There are two in the same cave, but I don't remember in which direction. But I think that's enough for now. We've spent far more time than we really needed to just to see what I've built. And I've gotten lost in my cave already. But hopefully next time when we come back, I will know how I want to finish off the other base I've been building in my main game. Because once I finish that base, we're going to go fight the Ender Dragon, and that'll be the end. 
The Ender Dragon will be the end. I don't think I'm going to try to fight a Wither. I don't think I'm going to try to even do that. I think we'll just say the Ender Dragon is enough. But yes, goodbye. Next time we'll be back in our normal world. Finish decorating the castle. And then we gotta go... We gotta go looking for an ender portal, first of all. I might have to hunt more endermen. I don't know how many eyes of ender it's gonna take to find a portal. And I don't know how many it's going to take to activate it, because it's kind of random how many empty slots you have to fill to activate the portal. But we'll work it out, and we'll get it done. And then we will have finished Minecraft. As far as I'm concerned, there is the the wither that you can spawn, but that's not necessary. That's just a challenge, and I don't need extra challenge. I'm here to have fun. I'm not here for things to be difficult. Sunset over the pagoda. Sunset over the pagoda as we say goodbye, probably for the last time. I don't know, I might come back on my own. I might come back to this world on my own just to beat the Ender Dragon here too. You can beat the Ender Dragon twice, but again, that's just, just an extra challenge. It's not really getting you any extra progression or anything, I don't think. But, this world is in a state where I'm about ready to beat the Ender Dragon here. I might not have enough Ender Pearls to find the gate in this world. I do have more diamonds in this world, though. That went better here. That went better here than in the other one. Actually, I think that might be because I used some of the diamonds in the other world to build a couple of pieces of armor. But we'll be back next time in our normal world, hurtling towards the end game. Bye-bye.